Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I figured out that we didn't talk about even and odd functions in this functional equation tutorial. So in this video, we'll be discussing a problem that use odd functions and we know that even functions are just like odd functions. We can handle them in a similar way. But first of all, let's uh, talk about even and odd function. So first of all, what is an even function? even function we call a function f even if it satisfies the following relation f of minus x equals f of x for all real values okay so this is an even function so for example f of minus 3 equals f of 3 f of minus 1 equals f of 1 However, if you plug 0 here, you won't get anything because f of 0 equals f of 0. Okay, so this is uh, even functions. What about odd functions? So we call a function f odd if it satisfies the following relation. f of minus x equals minus f of x for all real numbers x so f of minus 3 equals minus f of 3 okay so now if you plug 0 here you will get a nice thing because f of 0 equals minus f of 0 which means that f of 0 equals 0 so the nice thing is that if f is an odd function then f of 0 equals 0 so you should put that in mind when you prove that your function is odd then immediately you have f of 0 equals 0 Okay, so now let's move to a practical problem uh, where we're going to be discussing odd functions and how can we handle them. So let's get started. So our problem for today is from the British Mathematica Olympiad 2009. And in this problem, we're asked to find all functions f from r to r such that we have the following functional equation. f of x cubed plus f of y cubed is equal to x plus y times f of x squared minus f of x times y plus f of y squared. Okay, so first of all, let's take a look at our functional equation. So on the left hand side, we have two f's here, f of x cubed plus f of y cubed. And on the right hand side, we have a multiplication of two terms. Here we have uh, three f's, and here we have a very nice free quantity, which is x plus y. Okay, so this is very nice, x plus y, because it's free quantity. So we can use this to uh, make uh, to conclude some information. Okay, so what can we do with these x plus y? Well, we can simply make x plus y equal to zero. If we make it zero, then these three f's won't matter because whatever they are, the right hand side will be zero and so is the left hand side. Okay, so let's first of all make x plus y equal zero by simply substituting y with minus x. Okay, so that will be our first substitution. So p x minus x and we will get this will be 0, so here we have f of x cubed plus f of minus x cubed equals 0. But what does that mean? f of x cubed plus f of minus x cubed equals 0. Well, actually that makes our function f odd. So we can simply say that f is odd. Well, if you don't agree with me, just simply make the following substitution. And now, what, will we, what we will get is f of x plus f of minus x equals 0. And now, for sure, our function f is odd. Okay, so now we can write that our function f is odd. So, f is odd. Okay, and that's very cool. And we said in the introduction of the video that... 
uh, if a function is odd, then what is the value of f of 0? Well, it is 0. So furthermore, we can say that f of 0 equals 0. And actually, we can immediately uh, use this information, f of 0 equals 0, in our functional equation by simply substituting y with 0. So let's do this. So our second substitution will be px and 0. And let's see what we will get. Well, let's take a look. This will be 0. This will be 0. This and this. So we simply now have f of x cubed equals x times f of x squared. So now we have the following nice property. f of x cubed equals x times f of x squared. And this is very nice because of the following. So let's, let's take a look at our functional equation and see how can we use this functional equation. Well, we know now that f of x cubed is equal to x times f of x squared. But looking at our original functional equation, we can see that here we have f of x cubed and here we have x times f of x squared. So what we can do actually is get rid of the x cubed. And that means that we can simplify our functional equation because we can get rid of f of x cubed by substituting with this. And we can get rid of f of y cubed by substituting the same way. So now we can make here, uh, simplify our, our functional equation using this by f of x cubed is x times f of x squared. So this will be canceled with this. So now we, we will expand the right hand side and cancel some stuff. So x times f of x squared is cancelled with f of x cubed. f of y cubed is cancelled with y times f of y squared. And now on the left hand side, we will, we are going to have x plus y times f of x times y. And on the right hand side, we will have x times f of y squared plus y times f of x squared. So let's now write that down and solve the new functional equation. So actually let's erase this and write our new functional equation. And of course, we should keep in mind that f is odd. Okay, so the new simpler functional equation is the following. x plus y times f of xy is equal to x times f of y squared plus y times f of x squared. Okay. And this is for sure a simpler functional equation. So how can we solve this simple functional equation? And of course, we need to keep in mind that f is odd. Of course, we've proven that. So how can we use the fact that f is odd? We didn't use it yet. We only used it to get the value of f of 0. But we can use the, uh, the information that f is odd. How can we use it? In general, how can we use uh, the fact that f is even or f is odd? Well, since it's all about the negative, then we can simply substitute y with minus y. If we substitute y with minus y, we will get a very similar functional equation. Look, here we will have x minus y, and this will be f of minus x times y, which is minus f of x y. So this will, uh, the minus, uh, minus y will be the same as uh, y because here we have minus y squared is the same as y squared and here we will have minus y. So actually let's do this substitution and take a look at what we will get. So we'll substitute y with minus y here in this functional equation. To get here we, we have x minus y times minus so this will be actually y minus x times f of x y is equal to, this will be the same, and this will be minus y times f of x squared. Okay, so now we have these two simple functional equations. So what can we do with them? Well, since these two functional equations are very similar, then we can simply sum them up. Take a look, if we sum these two functional equations, this will be cancelled y times f of x squared with minus y times f of x squared. This will be multiplied by 2. 
Here we can cancel the x times f of xy and simply we will have 2 times y f of xy is equal to 2 times x times f of y squared. We can cancel the 2 and get the following. So let's sum these up. We will get y times f of xy y times f of xy is equal to x times f of y squared. And now in fact we are done because we can immediately get the value of f. Take a look at this very simple functional equation. What we can do, what can you do to get the value of f of x? Well, that's very simple. Here, the only x in, the, uh, in f in is here. So you can simply substitute y with 1 to get the value of f of x. So by simply substituting y with 1, we will get f of x is equal to x times f of 1. Okay, so now we have f of x equals x times f of 1. So by setting f of 1 as c, a constant c, we have f of x is equal to c x. And this is our function. Okay, so we've now found our function. The only thing we need to do is to check whether we can determine the value of c or it is just any real constant. So let's substitute it here. Of course, we have x cubed plus y cubed is equal to x plus y times x minus uh, x squared minus xy plus y squared. And this, these f's will give us a c and these f's will give us a c. So the, c will, the two c's will be cancelled. And indeed, this is our solution. f of x equals c times x. And simply we are done. Okay, so the trick here is when you have your function f is odd or even, then you can simply substitute y with minus y or x with minus x. And in this way, you can get a simple functional equation. So for example, you have an original functional equation. You can substitute y with minus y and get a very similar functional equation. And then you can, for example, sum them up or subtract them or do whatever you want with them. So here, for example, we have this functional equation, but since f is odd, we substituted y with minus y and we got this new very similar functional equation and then by summing them up we get this very simple functional equation which solves the problem. Okay, so in the next video we'll be solving a problem from the IMO but not problem 1, not problem 4 but in fact it's a problem 2. So if you're just as excited as me, like, share and subscribe to the channel and see you guys in the next video. Thank you.